Sultan, how are you? Hello, Sakina. I'm so glad to see you again. <laughs> so glad to see you as well. How's things in cold Russia? Oh, today is a bit warmer. Today is minus 25 degrees oh. below zero. So it is a bit warmer and I feel so good today. <laughs> If we were to experience that temperature here, I think we'll all feel like we're dying. <laughs> yeah, you know, the, the, uh, it, here it feels okay because uh, uh, no no wind mm -hmm. and the air is just very very dry, mm -hmm. so it feels warm. You know, not it doesn't feel cold or too cold. You know. So, so if you were to step outside, do you feel a little bit cold or just yeah. Uh, how do you uh, feel when you step outside? How do you feel? It's like no, 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 no. When I step outside, it's, I have good clo clothes, uh, warm uh -huh. clothes, so I feel okay. I I don't see any uh, difference. Just maybe in my face when it it is minus forty or minus fifty, I feel uh, in my face because my face is open, so uh -huh. I can, I feel the cold. But yeah. uh, in the rest of my body, uh, which covered by um, clothing, uh, mm -hmm. uh, everything is okay. I feel comfortable. And comfortable, yeah. I think it's yes. really important to dress very well when it's cold. Like yeah. with me, I have triple layer of clothing on. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not cold. It's mm -hmm. uh, The temperature here today, Ivan, it's only, um, I think it's... Uh, two degrees. <laughs> and I'm cold. Uh, but but uh, is it is it is it in your maybe in your house it is cold or not? Well, our house is well because our house is a bit big, so it's yeah it's a bit difficult to heat up the house. And plus, we don't have the central heating on in the daytime. We only have it on at night. So because the electricity is very expensive here, so we're trying to save as well for the environment. So what we do, we just you know put a lot of clothes on and keep the doors closed within the house, so none of the trapped air gets out and it keeps warm. The rooms are warm then, so yeah. And then the heating comes on three times at night. So. Uh, you know, we have opposite. I have to open my window to cool <gasps> down my room because it is very warm inside. And oh. in winter is in our houses. <laughs> wow! What's the electricity like there? What's the uh, bills like? I, I, I no, it is not electricity. It is uh, uh, the heating come by pipes, and it is uh, hot water uh, just hits our um, batteries. We, we say oh. batteries. Uh, yes. Really? Heat. Yes. Oh, that's cool. So you don't use oil? No oil? It's um, water? No, 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 no. It is, uh, there is a central plant who boils the water and this mm -hmm. water comes to, uh, goes to houses and mm -hmm. this water also uh, hits, hits the houses. It's, it's, it makes the houses warmer. So wow. we feel even when it is minus fifty or minus sixty, we feel comfortable inside of our houses. That's amazing. How much money would you save? I wish they would bring that here uh, to the how, UK. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't spend much money. We just okay. We spend, but mm. maybe it is not so much. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's ten percent of our um, wages. Wow, that's amazing. The electricity here is ridiculous. <laughs> really expensive, really expensive. And we have Salvador. How are you, Salvador? Hi, hello, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. How is everything? I'm good. How's everything with yourself? Yeah, everything is fine. What have you been up to? I haven't seen you for a while. <laughs> uh, um, I have been. Attending classes in a different um, hours, maybe in, in night. I I think um, mm -hmm. we have uh, eight hours of difference um, between hours. Yeah, the Brazilian Brazil, right? You're from Salvador. <laughs> no, I'm from Mexico? Honduras. Mexico. Uh, near near to Mexico, Honduras is near to Mexico, Central America. Oh, I forgot. Oh no, I thought I remembered. But he said he is from Honduras or what? Yes. Oh, Tegucigalpa. 
Ah, no, ah. Estamos, estamos en San Pedro. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you know do you know Sugalpa? Uh so oh. is America. I think it's Sugalpa it's a capital of Honduras, no? Yes, that is. Okay. Where are you from, right? I'm from Russia, Siberia Yakutsk. Ah oh, nice. The very cold part. Woo. Yes, <laughs> very, very cold. cold. <laughs> very cold. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Excellent, guys. Oh, I don't even have to say anything. Great. Well, should we get started, guys? Yeah? Okay, let's get started. Um, so today we're going to talk about um, TV and film. And we're going to talk about Nelson Mandela. Woo you guys knew who Nelson Mandela was? Yes, I know him. He was a great man. He is um, anti uh, anti um, uh, apartheid apartheid mm -hmm. man who mm -hmm. gave to the majority of South Africa, which mm -hmm. are blacks, the right to vote, the right to to live freely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You remember him? Yeah, he was a great man. Like you mentioned, Ivan, he done a lot of things for his people. Um, and he died, yeah, I think it was the age, I think it was to do with the age, you know, he was old age. But he's been through a lot, he has been through a lot. Um, so, yeah, did you watch um, the funeral? Yes, the I did. The memorial? You did? Yes, I did, because I very respect this man. I, um, I, I, I do respect mm -hmm. this man very much. Mm -hmm. Did you know about the sign interpreter, the naughty man? Yes, I know. He was a fast I'm interpreter. Naughty. You know. Yes. <gasps> that was terrible. Oh my god. It was god. a terrible, and it was you know how they could do that. You know, I it is impossible. It is impossible in many countries, but it is somehow happened in South Africa. It is you know crazy. That's so disrespectful. I think that is so disrespectful. Yes. Yes. My my cousin is an interpreter, and she knew rightly. This guy is fake because she she knows how to interpret, you know, and she yeah. knew straight away this guy's fake, and that is so disrespectful. I think I don't know who hired this man really to save money. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> who knows? You know, yeah, I just was amazed, and I was a little bit, you know, just uh, confused. How yeah. it could happen? I know. Isn't it terrible, Ivan? Salvador, did you hear about Nelson Mandela? Uh, yes, I know. Mm. Who, did you know about the memorial? There? No, I, I didn't see it. I, I was working for that time, but uh, that is a, a chain that are you talking about, the interpreter. Uh, really, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. That is a really bad thing to talk about. I know because it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There is a lot of things involved. In the, in the decision, the, the people who put that man in front of the world, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It, I, I don't strange. know how to, how to how, when you can hear or you can talk. Sorry? I don't know how what to say it? it in English. How, what is the word? When you when you can talk or you, when you can hear? What is the, I can hear, yes, the, yes, the I word? can hear. Yes, I can hear. Yes. I can hear you okay, yeah? No, no, no. I I asking you, what what is the, the word that I have to use when I am talking about a person who can speak or can, who can listen? Uh, can maybe maybe diff. I don't. Diff? I can hear. Can you type the question in? Okay. Yeah, maybe that's better. Unless, did you hear Ivan? Did you hear him? Or is it just me again? I just can't hear. No, no I, I hear him perfectly. Oh, please, can you tell me? <laughs> he says that he, uh, how to call the man who is uh, deaf and can talk. Oh, you well, we just say deaf person, really. Deaf person. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Which, yeah. Deaf person. They can't hear and they can't talk. Um, my cousin, um, he has that problem as well. He has special um, earplugs to go into his ear, but he's slowly progressing. Um, he can actually talk as well a little bit. Yeah, he can communicate, um, and they use special language as well. You know, like sign language with their hands. Oh, so yes. this is what we were talking about, Salvador, about this false interpreter. 
And for people that can't speak, can't understand, they use special sign language. I'll type it in, sign language. You call it sign language. Uh, yeah, sign language, yes, right. Yeah. So we, we call it uh, the language of diffs or diff, diffs language. Deaf people, yes, that's correct, Ivan, yes. 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 So it's just, I don't know, these people are crazy. That's what I can say. I don't know. I just, I'm shocked. I am flabbergasted, meaning confused, frustrated. I'm getting all these words right now, yeah. So, so we're going to talk disgusting. about... It was disgusting. It was disgusting. Yes, it was, Ivan. Really, really was. And also there was a picture of the two presidents, well, the Prime Minister of the UK, and uh, yes. also... Did oh. you see that one? Yes, we yes, it picture? was so disgusting. With the blonde what? lady. Yes. Uh, uh, the blonde lady and the uh, uh, United States President and pres uh, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was, you know, that just they they are in something in some show, in some yes. very fun show, just you know, just mm -hmm. it was it was just a little bit shame. I'm a, yes, I, I really was ashamed for them. I was very sad. I really, really was. You know, I thought they were nice people, but they should have respected his memorial. Yes. And, and and you could see, you know, Obama's wife just, you know, ignoring them and yes, just going like, yes. just I saw managing that to listen. Yeah. She, yes, it was it was also just oh yes, it was I just I just noticed it, you know. She yeah. was just Did ignoring them, just ignoring them and she she, she showed that they she ignores them and she is mm -hmm. angry and she, she was angry. Yeah. That they do what? that. I yes. think she realized. I think she had a bit more respect, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought them two issues were very, um, you know, they were very upsetting for me. Salvador, that's one thing we have to talk about as well. <laughs> it was just, I'm sure you listened into our conversation. It just wasn't very nice, to be honest. I think they could have had more respect. But anyways, I don't want to get into politics and all this, you know. So we will get stuck into our grammar first. So we're going to learn adjectives today. Have you guys done adjectives before? Learned adjectives? Yeah, Salvador, adjectives? Just uh, some. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so Ivan, adjectives, have you learned this before? Yes, I know what uh, adjectives are. But Perfect. Ooh, okay. Well, we'll go through them because, as you know, this is a high intermediate class. So with grammar, we don't tend to dwell on the grammar for so long. So five minutes, we'll go through it, and then we will move on to the article. Okay. So I will screen share this for you to see and just bear with me. Oh, God. Right. I think I've got it open now. Just bear with me, guys. So, have you guys got any plans for the weekend? I have to work this weekend. Oh, <laughs> Salvador. But think about the money. Think about the money. That's what I always say. <laughs> it's better than having nothing, right? So, I just try and be positive. Uh, I have a not positive news that tomorrow is a... Uh, uh, 40th day of my mother's death. Oh, so 40th, 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 40th. day, yes, 40, oh. 40th day. So we have to uh, commemorate my mother mm -hmm. in this day. It is a Christian tradition. Oh, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. That's so sad, Ivan. Yes, my mother died 40 days ago. Oh, shame, 40 days ago. Oh, God. Yes, yes, yes. She was very, very beautiful. She um, was very... Mm -hmm. she I think very mothers are the best. Like, mothers, they have such a role that you will always respect because they do so much for us when as kids, you know. They do a lot mm -hmm. for us, you know, but it's yes. sad. You know, my dad, it will be his anniversary on the 19th of January. Mm -hmm. It will be a year on the 19th of January my dad passed away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. also a sad month. It will be a sad month for me as well. I don't know. They all have to go, Ivan, fortunately. Yes, we all have to pass away. Yeah. We have to go. I but know. still, my mother was young. 
and mm -hmm. she died in just that she, because of a uh, 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 disease illness. Mm -hmm. So it is oh, so she... sad. I'm so I'm so sorry. I love my mother so much. Oh God, it's the worst. Do you have your father still? Yes, I have my father, but Good. my father also he feels so bad uh, that without my mother, so he is in hospital now <gasps> with his oh, heart. Oh my God, with, with his, his heart. heart, heart problem. Yes, yes because yes. he because loved her he so feels much. So, yes, yes. Oh, yes. that's so sad. I hope things get easy for you guys. You know, they say time is a healer, and it will heal eventually. It really will. I was very bad the first few months, and eventually I had to get on with it, and you do. You do get on with it somehow or another. I hope so. I hope so. Thank you. As long as you have your family there with you to support you in this grieving time, it will get easy for you. It will be easier, hopefully. Yeah, oh, it's awful sad lesson today, isn't it? Salvador, per you have <laughs> <laughs> Salvador's thinking, oh God. <laughs> I know, no. but I do. Oh, no. uh, I know. I'm really sorry, Ivan, for your loss. Oh, I, pre nice. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Oh, for nice, Salvador. Okay, so let's quickly do our uh, grammar. Right, so adjectives, as you know, they are used to describe a noun. There are two main types of formats for using adjectives. It can be used to describe what something is when you use the to be verb. So, for example, John is handsome. They are happy. It also can be used with a verb after the subject. So, we have Tim ate a large pizza. They built a small house. They do not have a singular or plural form. They do not have a masculine or feminine form. Also, adjectives can be placed at the end of a sentence when they describe the subject. For example, my sister is beautiful. The dog is mean. There is also a difference between, oh, sorry, between adjectives ending in ing and ed. So with the ing adjectives, they usually come from the source of feeling. For example, exciting, amazing, interesting, surprising. And we have a couple of examples here. Salvador, would you mind reading them out for us, please? Okay. The, the, um, which part? The second? Um, I'll just highlight um, for you these ones, these two here. Can you see it? Okay. okay. The movie was ex okay. The movie was exciting. It was an amaz amazing night. Very good. Thank you. And also with ED adjectives, they usually come from the receiver of the feeling. So we have excited, amazed, interested, and surprised. Ivan, can you read the two for me, please? Sure. Uh, she was excited to meet him. Jack was amazed to her, at her beauty. Thank you very much. Okay. So just another third point about adjectives, when using more than one adjective, they follow a particular order. So we have the order, opinion, dimension, age, shape, color, origin, and material. So for example, we have lots here with different types. So let's see. Um, Ivan, can you read opinion, dimension, and age? Um, opinion, um, a fascinating poem. A beautiful girl, a small car, a fat lip, an old man, an ancient artifact. Excellent. Thank you, Ivan. And Salvador, can you read the remaining? Um, age or shape? Okay, shape. Yeah. A round ball, an oval pier, and color, a white car, cat, and yellow apple. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the origin, a material. Origin, an Egyptian mummy, an American man, a steel box, a silver ring. Excellent. And then the last two, the ugly old plastic box. She bought a slim red French dress. So we have different ways of using adjectives. And then the last one. Nouns can also describe other nouns, just like adjectives. So, for example, the sports car in the yard, the science book on the table. 
Okay. Um, so can I maybe ask you guys to think of an example, another example, with using an adjective? So let's see. Yvonne, you want to start giving me one, please? Um... Uh, um, you can distract. You can describe anything: your friends, a movie, your country. Up to you. My country is mighty country. Oh, okay. Is it okay? My country is a mighty country. You can use it that way. It's a mighty country. But maybe yes. can you be more elaborate on your country? Why is it a mighty country? Why? What does it have? It has a um, strong military power. Ah, oh, now that's better. And Russia is the only country that can destroy the United States in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Russia is huge. It is a huge country. Very, very huge. Yes. yes. It is indeed. It is indeed, yes. Good, excellent, yep, great sentence, okay. Salvador, what about you? Um, my broken cell phone. Your broken cell phone, oh dear. <laughs> okay, broken cell phone, okay. Um, so that's pretty much it with adjectives, guys. Um, we will have to move on because it is only five minutes focusing on the grammar. I want to actually get into the article, talking about the article, etc. Okay? So it's all about speaking and reading today, guys. Okay? Yes. So, yeah. So I will send you guys the link. And you guys can open it from there. And also I will... Screen share it for the people in the lobby to see it also. Um, okay. Oh, a lot of here. tables. A lot of tables in this text. A lot of what? Sorry. What a was that, Ivan? A lot of tables. Uh, how do you call it? Tables or what? Just um. <laughs> tables. tables. Where do you see? Oh yes, yes, yes. That's right. Yes. <laughs> oh, with I know it's a it's, it's a very good article. This uh -huh. so it has a lot of discussion questions you can do after reading the article, which is pretty good. And they have lots of tables here, so it's pretty good. This article. So we're going to talk about Nelson Mandela. How did he affect his people? How did he affect the world? Was he a good influence or not? So if you'd like to read, you're more than welcome to. So who would like to start reading? I'm not reading today, guys. It's all about you today. I think that, uh, uh, <laughs> I think that, you know, that, uh, uh, Salvador will begin. Salvador. Okay, Salvador. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. No okay. Um, South Africans and people from all over the world are mourning the death of Nelson Mandela. In South Africa, thousands of people gathering in Johannesburg and Soweto to say goodbye to their country's first ever black after months of illness. South Africa President Jacob Jacob Zuma broke the news of Mr. Mandela, spent most of his of the campaigning campaigning for equal rights in South Africa. He spent seven, 27 years in jail before becoming South Africa president in 1994. Uh, I'm sorry, but you missed a lot of uh, other words and. Yeah. Um. Do you want to start again? Um, just start from. Just start from in South Africa, okay, Salvador? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. You can start from in South Africa. Okay. In South Africa, thousands of people gathering in Johannesburg and Soweto to say goodbye to their country's first black president. 
They dance. Uh, I I didn't see this part. Uh, <laughs> they dance, okay. sang, yeah. sing, and prayed. Prayed for the man they loved. Mr. Mandela died aged 95 on Thursday. On Thursday, after months of illness. And I don't South know. Africa's. Yeah, yeah, keep going. South Africa's. South Africa. South Africa's president Jacob Zuma broke the news. Break, broke the news of Mr. Mandela's death in a late night. A uh, speech on TV. Mr. Suman say, our nation has lost its greatest son. Mr. Mandela spent most of his life campaigning for equal rights in South Africa. He has spent 27 years in jail before becoming Africa's president in 1994. Very good. Thank you, Salvador. So there you go, guys. 27 years in jail before becoming South Africa's president in 1984. Very sad. And he died at a very good age, 95. Yes, 95 is a very good age to die. Yeah, I think, yeah. Yes. I think that was a very good age. I wish my dad had lived to that age. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, but I think that's but an excellent age. Can I, can I ask you something, one question? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. How do you pronounce 27? Do you say 27 or 27 or, or otherwise? Oh, we just said 27. 27. 27, yes, but yeah. Americans say 27. Right? Yeah, they say 27, 27, 27. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They have a different accent, you see, because, yeah, you know the, the British and the accent, they kind of differ with their accents. But you know, no matter how you pronounce it, it's still the cr it's still correct. So don't get confused. You so know. I can twenty seven or twenty seven. Yeah, that's fine, Ivan. Both, yeah, both, don't worry. Both are correct. Of course, yes, okay. they're correct. As long as we can understand you, that's correct. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I just uh, no, no, no. I mean by accent. Okay, I just uh, don't want to sound f a lot of uh, to be a foreigner. You know, just I just I just want to be sounded like a real American or real British. Ah, uh, yes. You know. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, I know what you mean. No, they're both correct. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Um, what was I going to say? You know, have you ever heard the Irish speak? Irish speak? Oh no! How how Irish? Oh, you should see how they speak. <laughs> you should hear how they speak. Actually, well, there's a word. There's a, a number that they pronounce is really funny. Thirty three. Thirty three. This is how the British pronounce it and the Americans, right? But the the Irish they pronounce it twenty three. Twenty three. Twenty-three. Yes, 23? that's it. Yes, that's how you pronounce it. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. But uh, twenty. Uh, 20. It, sounds 20. Like it's, it sounds like it's. It sounds like you're saying turkey, but they pronounce it twenty-three. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yes. Do so you know uh, the Russian accent? No, no, no. Uh, yeah. The Russian accent would be uh, twenty twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I, I I think I heard the Russians speak before, um, in, in movies only though, like really. Uh, okay, can I can I read the next text? Uh, of with course, Russian Ivan. Russian? Ivan of okay, course. I will I, I will read it with Russian, very okay. Russian accent. Okay, just for fun. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Go on ahead. <laughs> okay. Leaders from all over the world heaped praise of Mr. Mandela. His longtime friend, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, said, God was so good to us in South Africa by giving us Nelson Mandela. U.S. President Barack Obama said he achieved more than could be expected of many men. Today he has gone home. U.N. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon called him a giant for justice and down-to-earth human inspiration. He added, Nelson Mandela showed what is possible for our world and within each one of us if we believe, dream and work together for justice and humanity. British Prime Minister David Cameron tweeted, Nelson Mandela was a hero of our time, a great light has gone out in the world. So th this was a Russian accent. <laughs> wow! Is this so, Ivan? Is this how you speak all the time? 
uh, I think that it is natural when you speak Russian. Yes. I speak this accent, you know. Yes, just, that's I'm, right. just I'm trying when I speak English. Just I'm trying to copy uh, maybe British or American accent. So uh -huh. uh, I would say that maybe the last sentence: British Prime Minister David Cameron tweeted, "Nelson Mandela was a hero of our time. A great uh -huh. light has gone out in the world." So uh -huh. uh, just because I'm trying to speak your accent, you know the, yes. the accent. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but for me, it's naturally it would be the uh, mm -hmm. the first, the first, uh, yes. The first yes. one. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so your your accent's pretty good. You know, when you're speaking English, you know, you can't really, you don't really have that Russian accent. You know. Uh -huh, so yes, I know. Yeah, that's really good. Salvador, what did you think of the Russian accent? <laughs> uh, well, Ivan is doing very, very well. Yeah, he is, yes, I, surely. I, I, I didn't notice uh, the Russian accent <laughs> before. <laughs> me too, me too. And, and, and I was confusing where this uh, country that Ivan come from. I said, what country he say? <laughs> because he's not sound like Russian. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. I you can't really. When I first met Ivan, I really didn't think you were from Russia. The the sound, you just don't sound like you're from Russia. Because when I watch movies, I think was it that Police Academy, and they they shot it in um, Russia, and they had real Russian accents, so you don't <laughs> have it, you know. <laughs> so oh, you yeah. kind of disguise. I uh, know, just maybe maybe because I'm not really. Uh, yes, I'm Russian. But I'm a minority in Russia. I'm Asian. Mm -hmm. yes, I'm Asian, yes. and I uh, just maybe you know that we Yakut, a Russian minority in uh, Siberia, mm -hmm. we speak mm -hmm. better English because our tongue uh, is just uh, we, Russians can't speak clearly uh, English, but mm -hmm. we Yakuts can. I don't know why, but maybe is our language is. Uh, um, tongue uh, is just yeah. Your uh, tongue, it's more equipped for the pronunciation. Yes, you know? yes, I think so. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really, really good. You keep that up, Ivan. Keep it up. Keep it up. Yes. Okay. So, great reading for both of you guys. From both of you guys, thank you for that. Now, um, we want to move on to the discussion questions. But before we move on to the discussion questions, do we have any words, any vocab? You need to go through. You guys are aware of mourning, mourning, world are mourning the death. Ivan and Salvador, have you heard of mourning before? Ben, yes, I did. It is my morning day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Always for my mother. Yes, yes, yes. It's very sad, I know. It's terrible when someone dies. It really is. Um, what about Salvador? Have you heard of mourning before as well? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, okay. Hey, hey guys, I have to go. This is Shane, but nice to okay, meet you. Okay, nice, nice to see you again, Salvador. You take okay. care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Take care, Salvador. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Oh, thank you. Have a good weekend. Oh, it's the weekend, Ivan. Yay! It's Friday. Oh, I yes, love Fridays. It's Friday. uh, where, where, where do you want to go today, Friday? Oh no, I'm not going to do anything today. But Ivan, the problem is now my son. He's so bored because he's finished school. So I don't know what to do with this child. He's, he's so bored <laughs> because the weather here it's so depressing. It's raining every day. So what to do with them? So I have to do some activities with them indoors. Maybe do some painting with them or coloring in or I don't know, play a dough, who knows? Something. Yeah. Thank you for accepting me in Facebook. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You're more than <laughs> welcome. Yeah, if you need any queries or anything, you're more than welcome to ask me any any questions. Yes. So um, I have a question now in regards to the article, Ivan. Uh huh. Yes. Now, because it's just you and me now, so all the questions are for you. Aren't you lucky? Yes. <laughs> you are my personal. You are my personal teacher today. Yes, one to one. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting it all here today. Yes. Okay. So I, I think I should type it in. Do you want me to type in the question as well? Let's have a look. Uh, 
Um, okay, so what makes, I'll just type it in, what makes a popular and entertaining TV show for the whole family to watch, Ivan? What do you think? What With using your adjectives, popular? yes. What makes it popular? Mm -hmm. An oh, entertaining. No. Okay. What makes a popular and entertaining TV show for the whole family to watch? Yeah, what do you uh, think? Hello, Sam. Before I hello. ask you to keep going. Hello, how are you? How have you been today? I am fine. How's the weather? The weather is uh, about uh, 10 degrees. Oh. Yeah. Oh, dear. That's cold. Well, Ivan. Yes. We can't, we can't beat Ivan's temperature. Ivan, what what's your temperature? Minus? Minus 25. Oh, my God. <laughs> there you go, Sam. I don't think we can beat that temperature. Uh, but, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. but where are from is uh, Sum Minh, Vietnam? Sam, you want to introduce yourself? Me? You want I to introduce mean, yourself? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I met him before. I uh, him before. Yeah, sir, but uh, just don't remember. I'm from Vietnam, you said, yeah? No, no, no. I'm from Hong Kong. Hong oh, Kong. oh, sorry, sorry. Ah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I love, I love Hong Kong so much. You know, I've been there last year, uh, last summer. Look at the picture. Aren't you? Yeah. Isn't that picture taken from there? Do you see it? Yeah. Do you see it? The big Buddha in Hong Kong. Yeah, I, I see the picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys should meet up the next time if you do go visiting. Man, you have. Someone to meet up with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you can speak English to one another. No no Chinese, no no, no Chinese. Japanese. All English. All English. All English, yeah. Alan, do you know Moria? Huh? Moria. I can hear. I can hear. Moria? Moria from Russia. What was that? Sorry, Bobby. Ivan, could you hear that? I no, no, no. Hear. Yes, I can hear, but I can't understand him. Can you? Because your microphone is not so good. I, I just don't hear you correctly. I just don't hear maybe, you. Maybe, maybe some type it in. I think that's better. Yes, Nokia. Nokia. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes, I know Nokia for sure. Yes. <laughs> yes. What about Nokia, Sam? Tell us. What about Nokia? Mm, what do you I have no, I, I, I haven't uh, seen a uh, Nokia uh, a while. Nokia, I haven't seen her a while. I haven't seen that mobile. Nokia mobile? Is that uh, what you're Maybe to? Nokia mobile, or maybe are they extinct? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> you well, know, Nokia, just... Nokia is doing pretty well in UK. We have Nokia here. Yes, we have Nokia in Russia, but you know, do you know what is? Uh, I know just two words in um, uh, Cantonese, uh, which is mm. spoken in in Hong Kong. Uh, can you understand? Uh, all my my friend always was saying that words. Um, Haila Haila, Hova Hova, Haila Haila. Do you know it? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Haila Haila, Hova Hova. Oh wow! Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm learning a different language already, guys. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have fun with you yeah. two today in this lesson. Some and Eva, okay, you okay. two yes, are yes, 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 sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, dear guys. Oh, you guys are funny. Well, back to lesson, guys. I know I would love to speak longer to you both, but you know what it is. Lesson time. So... Question for Ivan. Yes. Did you managed to find a lovely answer for me and some. Uh, can you can you repeat it? Yes. What makes a popular or entertaining TV show for the whole family to watch? So, what type of program? What makes a popular program? What does it have to offer? Like, what does it have to have? Maybe they have to have some scandal. You know, do you know what is scandal? Yes, scandal. Yes, correct. Yes, yes. to attract people's attention. Yes, because scandal. people love to love scandals, so yes, they, they always yes, so they always pay attention to this. 
Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they have to uh, also, f apart from scandal, maybe is that uh, the, the issue which is uh, very popular or very up to date uh, to this day, like, uh, no, um, is very not, not popular, but um, how to say it, is very. Uh, up to date, is it okay? Up to date, you can say that. That's okay, Van. Up to date, yes, 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 yes. yes. So yes, that also attracts people attention That's to these true. programs. Yes, and also you know there are a lot of things to attract people attention. <laughs> I think as I think also um, shows to be realistic as well and humorous, it's funny to watch. That's really important. But like you said, a lot of scandal. Unfortunately, people like to watch scandal programs. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh, God. So, yeah, that's a prime example. Very good points there, Ivan. Thank you for that. Um, Sam, your turn. Why, why, so why? We were talking about Nelson Mandela. The article is about wow. Nelson Mandela. Oh. So... We're just going through the discussion questions now. Um, it's oh. a shame you missed the lesson. I know you're probably busy, but if you want to try answering a question, mm -hmm. do you know Nelson Mandela? Yes. Yes, from the TV. He is uh, okay. a. Okay. Okay. You you want to you you want to describe him for us? Oh. Uh, <laughs> he, yeah, he's a pastor. Uh, of uh, South Africa before, uh -huh, and uh -huh. he is uh, in the in the part in the prison. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, for a long time, he is uh, fight. Uh, he, he is uh, fight for the freedom. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good, uh, very good. Okay, um, okay, excellent. What about Ivan? How was Nelson Mandela a great leader? In your own uh, opinion. Uh, how he was a great leader? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, he was a great leader just because he fought for the rights of the uh, not not uh, yes for the black people uh, in the mm -hmm. Africa, but mm -hmm. he in fact he, he fought for all people who desire uh, freedom. Mm -hmm. who, yes. Uh, yes. In fact, he was a symbol. Of uh, of uh, um, you know of all who um, um, yeah um, I just lost my idea. <laughs> no, it's okay. You're doing very well. You're doing very well. Um, okay. Uh, and he he was uh, uh, you know just I think that uh, uh, that kind of people. Like mm -hmm. Nelson Mandela, mm -hmm. uh, no existent now in this world. That's so true, Ivan. Yes. That's so true. Yes, yes. When you look at all the great leaders in this world that we had, we had John F. Kennedy. He got shot. He was great to his people. Yes, yes, yes. And then we got Martin Luther King. He was also great to his people. Got shot. Mm -hmm. John Lennon promo promoted peace. Got shot. So Mahatma these, Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi. Oh yes, Gandhi as well. Yes. yes. So mm -hmm. all these, there are more. There are even more people in this world that it affected people's lives in a great way. And now all these people are gone. We, I don't think we're not going to have any more good people left. Good leaders. I yes, I do, I have no idea who is a leader now. Just it's nobody, sad. nobody, nobody. I don't see anybody. Here. Just yeah. uh, oh yes. Unless that we can think of someone, but we just can't think of one. I can't think of one <laughs> who, who, at the moment. Who is that? Who is I know I can't think of anyone to be honest, because he done so much for his people, Nelson Mandela. Like I don't think there'll be anyone like him. Uh, yes, I yes, I think so. Mm, I think you're definitely right, Ivan. It'd be very difficult to uh, have another leader like that again. Yes, yes, you know? he was a great man. Oh, it's so sad, isn't yes, it? Yes, I'm. I, 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 I just admire him. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people were talking about him for weeks, and he deserves that respect. He deserves that praise, you know. Um. Yes, definitely, definitely. People just can't get over it, really, you know. Yes, um, yes. 
And then we have another question for Sam. Sam. Yeah. Are you yeah. ready, Sam? Okay. Describe a great leader, Sam. Can you describe a great leader? What does a great leader do? A great leader. Mm -hmm. To lead the people, uh, get the freedom, get mm -hmm. the listen, uh, get anything. Mm -hmm. Great leader, yes. In the, in, in the country, he must, he must, uh, uh, he, he must uh, let uh, people have anything. I didn't get the last one. He must. Hmm? He, I didn't uh, get the last part. Can you repeat that one again? Sorry, Sam. He must. Uh, he must let the people get uh -huh. uh, more things, uh, more benefits, uh, mm -hmm. more more health, and uh, more safety, mm -hmm. uh, more peace. Uh, yes. yes, definitely, definitely. I think that's so true. Some excellent yeah. guys. Did you hear about the Korean president? Oh my God. Oh, that! Oh, is, oh I'm sorry. Oh. I call him a bastard. You know, yes. I, I can't stand him. He is oh. so ridiculous. You know what he he does there in so in North Korea. Oh it my God! I heard just, about the uncle. He didn't he execute his yes, uncle? He executed his even his uncle, and I thought he's uh, his own too. Oh my North God! North yes. Korea. North yes. Korea. North Korea. Some have you heard? Yeah. Did you hear about him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, uh, in, in our side, uh, our new uh, uh, said that he is uh, killed by more than hundred hungry dogs. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my. More than hundred, very hungry, uh, hundred, uh, hunting dog. Oh my God, that's so sad. Yeah. He's, he's, he's very young. He's only in his thirties. I can't get over this. No. He is no. very young. Law for, law for, yeah, law, law for, law for, law for, law for. And you guys, do you imagine that uh -huh. the South South Korea lives so happy, rich, and yeah. wonderful life, and uh -huh. just uh, and just a few kilometers from kilometers from them, mm. North Koreans suffer oh under God. this bastard. And they, these are uh, tyrant, tyrant, uh -huh. or how to call it? Tyrant or ty tyrant, uh, tyrant, 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 tyrant. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I think that the world community must do something because I. So I, what? Okay. So question, Ivan. How yes. is the North Korean president? How is he dealing with his own people? Does he offer benefits or anything like that? What What is he doing? Just want to know. I'm curious. Ah, uh, you know, just even, even, you know, just I, I, I love what, what, uh, the Soviet Union. You know, I love Soviet Union because, mm -hmm. uh, because it was a safe country and it was, um, we had no freedom. Yes, of course, we had no freedom of speech, but mm -hmm. it was a safe country and nobody mm -hmm. was uh, bef after Stalin, um, nobody was killed and it was a relatively free country. But what I see in North Korea, I wouldn't call it communist, I would call it a fascist. Um, oh I, don't know, um, I would call it a um, fascist or maybe anti-human regime. Wow. Yes, wow. which is which is must to be replaced mm -hmm. just to save people. That bad, huh? God. Yes. I really feel sorry for the people. But I just yes. can't get over how can you kill your flesh and blood, your uncle? And he was doing peace. He was trying to get other countries involved with Korea because you know when you compare China, they have the import export things from different countries, Japan, Russia as well. But he the uncle was trying to do good things for Korea and then it got backfired. Backfired on him. I, yeah, and then he, I, I think he executed him, yeah, for treason or something, wasn't it? For treason, I think he executed him. Yes, I think that was treason, and yes. I think that his wife also was executed. I just can't, can't understand this cruelty in this modern world, you know. It's terrible, isn't it? Yes. I hope that, you know, these people get to say something and actually get him to step down. 
step down as a president? I don't no, know what's going to happen. Uh, no, no, no. They they don't have you know they don't have even a clue how the life is outside of their country. They think that uh, they think that other countries are live far far more um, uh, badly badly more than sure. they are. But they, they have rational uh, food rationed. Mm -hmm. They have a shortage of um, basic uh, things a man would need, you know. But you know, I, I have experienced it because I lived in Soviet Union. Wow! Oh my God, that's really sad. I have experienced it because and that's why I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's terrible, isn't it? <gasps> oh dear, I really don't like these tyrants. Oh my god, they break my heart. They really do. I feel so sorry for these people. Oh, I don't know, guys. We should be very lucky where we are. We should be very lucky and grateful, right? Some, what do you have to say? Any comments? I know it's not relevant to Nelson Mandela, but um. you you are in the North Korea. You uh. You watch the, the you secretly watch the TV from mm -hmm. the from the South Korea. We have the we have, we have the, you you let the let, let the police know that you will be killed by the the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's really scary. It really really is. I don't know what to do, guys. Oh, well, yes, yes, it is really really very scary. Uh, but uh, can I ask uh, a question? Uh, um, what do you think about life in the, um, just uh, um, in the, um, in Saudi Arabia? Just, uh, just it's interesting. Is, is this question for me, Ivan? Sorry. Yes, 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 for you. Yes, because, for one. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what do you think about the life in so uh, in Saudi Arabia uh, concerning the women's rights? Uh, just. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. Well, I, I haven't lived there before. Now, my auntie, she lives there, mm -hmm. and she's from here. She's from the UK, but she loves it there. She gets treated like a princess. I know the rules are, you know, women are not allowed to drive mm -hmm. um, because of a lot of people think this is, you know, this is prejudice against women. But in my opinion, I feel that when you look at, when you have a broaden mind picture of how women are treated in Saudi Arabia, they are treated like princesses. They don't have to drive, they have their own driver. Women in Saudi, they don't like to drive anyway because it's not safe. The roads are not safe. They're not as constructed well as compared to UK, maybe Russia. And so this is why women are not allowed to drive. There is a yes, reason behind uh, it. Yes, okay. But we have a uh, prejudice here in Europe. Just, just yeah. uh, you know, just uh, women in Saudi Arabia are not free, and mm -hmm. they are forced to wear burkas. You know what is burkas? Burkas, no, I know what burkas. Are. No, no, no. They can only they they just have to wear abaya. They don't have to wear burkas. No, he told oh. you that. <laughs> <laughs> Who yes, told you that, I, I, <laughs> I know that is a lot of prejudice. Just uh, I just uh, just uh, hate it. I That's know. why I ask it. Yes. Yes. No. The the thing is, Ivan. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. I I don't hate uh, burkas and uh, I just hate the prejudice which is in Europe. I know what you mean. I know it's terrible, yeah. isn't it? They've yeah. banned. I think in France they've banned the scarf, the hijab. Mm -hmm. You know what I wear? They don't allow that. I think that's so wrong. Um, I think in Denmark they're very, very prejudiced as well. They don't like women to wear scarves. Um, so it's just certain parts, you know, in Europe that they, they're trying to ban the burqa. Yes, I've heard about that one, yeah. Um, but I don't think they have succeeded. I'm not sure about that. But there, are a few, there were a few incidents in Europe where the poor women, they had, I think they got their hijab um, taken off, snatched off. Mm-hmm. Um, because of that, it was very sad to hear that in the news. I think I heard it in the news before. But I can see with a burqa, I'm not sure about Europe though, but in Saudi Arabia, I don't think you have to wear the burqa. You just wear the, the abaya. Because my auntie, she lives in um, the capital of Saudi Arabia, the Riyadh, and she has to wear the abaya. 
you know, the, just the long abaya. And she said she's used to it. She doesn't mind it because she's not Muslim, you see. So she's teaching there English. And she loves being around the people there because they treat her like prince, like a princess. Mm -hmm. And she loves it. She likes, she adores uh, it. You know, I, I have to tell you something. Yes. That you broke my stereotypes about uh, Muslim uh, uh, women. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. You are so lively. You are so <laughs> lovely. Yeah. You know. Just I didn't because I never met a Muslim woman before. Oh so. <laughs> really? Oh, yes. there you go. Then there you go. <laughs> Oh, no, there are plenty more like me out there, I'm telling you, with the scarf, yes. They are even probably more livelier than me and bubblier than me. <laughs> you just have to see them. You come to England and you will see many of them, Ivan, lots of them. Yeah, I like so, it very yeah. much, you know. Just, yeah. You know, maybe you are the best teacher in this uh, group. Uh, in this, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ivan, you're making me blush again. You stop that now. <laughs> God, Joshua was getting me all blushy as well. Oh, dear. Um, when someone gives me a compliment, I get all blushy. I get all red cheeks. <laughs> well, thank you very okay, much, Ivan. But, but, but this is the, this is, is the truth. Oh, thank you so much, Ivan. Thank you very much for that. Well, listen. I will have okay. to go now for both of you guys, and um, okay. I have I have to leave. I have to go into town and um, take my son out. So it was great speaking to both of you. Thank you for participating yes, in this lovely a, class. Yeah, it was, it was also a very wonderful lesson for me. Yes, very. As good. usual, as usual, I liked I liked your lessons very much. Thank That's you very much. <laughs> 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 Ivan is often nice with a compliment, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, God, you guys. Well, thank you, Ivan, for that. And listen, uh -oh. Sam, thank you for joining uh -oh. as well. Great to see you. And both of you have a great weekend. Look yeah. after yourselves. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. So take care. Bye, Bye for now. Bye, guys. Bye, 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 bye. bye.